wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Wick, wicked, wicked. Jungle. Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. So today, we'll do an exciting task. Fitting a new B82 res into an E46. I'm going to do it using only... I mean, this car was produced from a time before well, when they used to trust the customers to have their own toolkit without sort of trying to eat it or something. So we've got some tools, hopefully enough to replace this. So let's start on that. Now, obviously, there is usually a cover for that, which we've removed previous to doing this. Um, but we've got a 30 milli nut, a 30 milli bolt there, and a 30 milli bolt there, which are the first things to remove. Now, if you are worried about losing your radio, um, well, radio cord, not radio cord, but radio settings, or your MPG data or anything like that, which I've already lost, so I'm not worried about it. But if you are worried about that. And what you can do is, if you fit another battery with like a jump pack or something to these, and just be careful not to touch anything whilst you're replacing the battery, it's a bit fucky about it, but you can um, you can disconnect the battery without losing your information. So anyway, let's let's get that off first. It's just loving the lifts out of place. Put it there, nice and safe. And then we need a 10 milli, which we have also got. And as ever if you're uh, fondling the terminals on a battery you want to do the negative first because only because of a simple reason that if you're touching this with that and you arc it across to there and touch something it's not going to do anything because it's already touching that area and then once that's disconnected you don't have to worry about this doing the same sort of shit either so we can set that off too Next. Whilst trying to hold this out the way with the same hand and holding the phone with another hand, just pull the shitter out of the way. Then when we compare it to the new one, we can see that you know that it should fit. So let's put this one where that come from. That would be the next step. Yes. And then of course we need to connect it up, which is just a reversal of the process that we've just done. As you'd expect. Now that just make sure it is located because there is like a tray it fits into and it shouldn't wobble about so much, which now it is. And now we can fit this one, which will make that light come on like so. Yes. At this point, we should probably check it's going to work, but instead, I want to fit this first. And then I've got more to take off, you know, if it, in the case of that it doesn't work. So I can whinge about it. So let's put these on. And uh, talk them to specifications. Now, I'm not sure if but there's actually supposed to be something else to hold the battery down on this. Like, if you look, there's a thread, which it could have some sort of thing in it. I can't remember. It's never had it on my car anyway. But once you put this on, I mean, obviously it's... It's not going to go anywhere anyway, is it? So let's go and see if it starts. Yes. So that works, but we just need to uh, set the clock, which is uh, obviously vital to the uh, actual workings of the vehicle. Better. So anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. There isn't any sort of reset procedure in diagnostics for these to say it's got a new battery or anything like that. It's uh, too old for that shit. So, yeah, that's it. That's how to change the battery on one of these shitters. See you, bye.